Run a race! Run a race to see which grading company is faster. 20 sport cards going to PSA or 20 Pokemon cards going to Beckett. On your marks, get set, let's go! What's going on everybody? This is a J Ruth Gaming. Today, we are on a race to find out which grading company is faster for their standard services. This is gonna be cool. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna send 20 cards to PSA and then 20 to Beckett literally at the same time. And then whenever they get return, we will do a return video to see the grade of them. All right, so gonna be cool. Both are about a 50 buck ish. Don't worry about the taxes and fees. This will we'll say they're a $50 per car entry, okay? So I'm doing 20 cards of sport and then 20 cards of Pokemon. And we're gonna see who wins the race. This should be interesting. Should be interesting. Before I go any further, let comment below who do you think is gonna win the race. Don't assume though. All right, you might say, listen, PSA is gonna be faster or Beckett's gonna be faster, but I actually wanna see who's is going to be faster. So what I like to do, I'm a random guy here on the internet, so you guys do what you like to do with your graded cards. I personally like to send my sport cards to PSA and then my Pokemon cards to Beckett. Now, I, that, there's exceptions to every rule, but for today's reasoning, today's purposes, that's what we're doing. We're doing 20 sport to PSA, 20 Pokemon, and all these cards basically have been pulled here on the channel. Um, some of them, very few, very minor, have come from breaks or I've purchased singles throughout time and it's time in the sport world to get them graded now. So let's begin with sports first. This will be the last submission video that we do for PSA and Beggar for a little bit here. We sent over a hundred cards so far last month two PSA, all sport related. We were just, I was just in a kick. It was basketball time, I was excited, getting ready for football, so I'll get, send in a few guys in to get graded. So I wanna take a little bit of a break, so I figured this is gonna be the perfect send off video into the summer where we'll kinda collect a bunch of cards all summer long. Then in the fall, we'll send out a lot more. All right, so in my sport pile of 20, I have a little bit of a system that I like to do. So the first three are case hits that I've either gotten or we have hit the first one I purchased. It's on my ball, my boy, B-Ball Paul. Paul Reed, Genesis card. I purchased this for like literally under 20 bucks. B-Ball, Paul Reed for the Sixers. I love his attitude. I love, absolutely love his energy on the court. So he's the guy that um, we're starting this video off with. I get all my case hits graded. If it's a case hit, we grade it. Perry, end the story. Don't care who it is. We got Ron over here. I won this in a break, believe it or not. I got a Genesis card finally in a break. I do so many breaks. You think I'd hit something finally. So I was involved in the Eagle. It was like a multi-year break. So I was pumped to get Ron here. A Genesis, another Genesis card. So we'll take it. Going, sticking with Mosaic, we got our first ever Honeycomb, Joe Montana here. We hit this the other night from the Fanatics exclusive Mega Boxes. These were a lot of fun. So grade-wise, guys, I am seeing a lot of these getting for PSA at least a 9. At least a 9. Um, there might be... Skimming through the pile. I think there's going to be one that's lower than a 9. We'll get to in a second. So... There's a little bit of a system I have for today. A lot of these sport cards, a good chunk of them are NFL. Preseason's gonna be starting up. Summer camp, summer ball is gonna be starting up. Who are the studs you're looking for? So obviously quarterbacks, outside of the quarterbacks, I got two wide receivers here, rookie cards that I wanted to get grade for multiple reasons. The first one, rookie card prism, C.D. Lamb, he is the hot shot right now in Dallas, and I think I can get a PSA 10 on this. The value on C.D. Lamb is actually not too bad, and that division, even when the, even with my Eagles getting the upgrades that they did, Dallas does have an opportunity to win that division. Win that division, it's going to be because of CD, guys like C.D. Lamb. 
So his value could skyrocket like, like Higgins did for the Bengals last year. So I definitely want one C.D. Lamb in this collection. Now the second card is kind of a, a color match, kind of. It's pink. It's not the purple. It's pink. But I absolutely love this card. I debated sitting this card in the back end because of how perfect I think it is. I don't think there's. I'm going to miss a PSA 10 here at all. I this was this was tough to to send the PSA and not Beckett. The, the prices are coming down. Another reason why I'm holding off on sending cards in. Beckett just opened up their standard services probably this month or two two weeks ago, something like that. Very quick. Typically when that happens, their competitor, PSA, is gonna come out with another tier and then Becca will follow. Their everyone's back orders again completed and caught up so i'm seeing a lot of lower prices coming up so you don't have to pay these $50 prices anymore so this was another reason why i'm waiting but this card right here justin jefferson rook card from prism it's the pink uh like i said i didn't get a chance to actually go clean it yet but i know this card is crazy crazy clean i almost sent it to beckett almost sent it to beckett so either way justin jefferson no introduction needed for the guy that was all for the skilled players for the NFL. Now the rest are quarterbacks. Now it's going to be all over the place here. We're going to be all over the place. We got the pink. Oof. Hit this early on. Optic rated rookie preview. T-Law. Now, I will say all the big sport uh, for uh, brands for the NFL, Select, Optic, Prism, they're all getting pushed back. They continue to get pushed back. And I think we're going to see that all summer long. Especially with the newest draft class and their lack of quarterbacks, I think Panini is going to be essentially holding off on the top tier products. So you're when you go to the store, some of us won't leave the house unless it's a good product. So and Panini knows that, so they're gonna wait and pump pump out 2022's pro, new product, low, mid tier and low tier brands. But match it with Optic, match it with Select, and match with Prism. That's why I think they're waiting for so long. So I want to send it in well, at least one Trevor Lawrence card of an Optic. And this was it. I absolutely love this card. It should get a 10. Pretty clean. Actually going for decent value right now. And Jaguars upgraded. So here we go. Another rookie from last year. We got the one and only Mac Jones. I probably, if you've watched my other submissions here, I probably sent this card in with every one of them. I have more to do. So I'll always send in at least one Mac Jones card, and I will go with a base Donruss, a clean card every time. Doesn't matter. Easy. So most recently here on the channel, going into last year's quarterbacks, this is going to be fun. The next, the next four are going to be real cool. We got Tua! We just hit this the other night. The orange die cut. I would say this is a color match. Let me know if you agree or disagree. There is orange all throughout Miami. Bam, like I said right there. What's interesting about this die cut, I would think this would be off center, but we just got a PSA 10 of Justin Herbert die cut. Pop three. It was a pop three. Absolutely insane. Uh, last week, last week on the return, it'll be back on our the NFL playlist. And NBA, technically, because it was a mixture. Blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. So I wanted to get at least one Tua card since we just hit this last week in our NFL 2020 Select Blaster opening. We hit that. I was like, oh, absolutely. Now, speaking of that break where I got Ron, I also hit this, too. Jalen Hurts. There was some Select there. Pretty cool. Field level. Once again, going to a Mac Jones's conversation of I want to send in one Mac per submission here. Hertz will be another one that I start to add on to every sport at least one. I love feel levels. I love select. I think it's an awesome brand. I think it's amazing artwork. And I like the image here. So another card that I will be sending in, Jalen Hertz. I think he has opportunity to do very, very well with his options this year. The next two cards are kind of similar. You'll see what I mean in a second. Justin Herbert, the canvas. I love canvas. There's a little bit of a textured feature, if you will, to the card. Reminds me of Pokemon, and you can't go wrong with Justin Herbert here. Donis Raider rookie canvas. 
this card and the next card are also debated by sending to Becca because I think they're just perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I can't, I don't know why they wouldn't get a 10. Joey B, another canvas card. Once again, debated sending to Beckett. The reason why I debated because PSA has the third highest grade overall, which is a PSA 10. Okay, a Beckett 10 is better and a Beckett Black Label 10 is better than that. So I did debate sending a couple of these. Um, I was holding them off for a while there. Truthfully, I was. We've done a, you guys seen it, literally sent over 100 cars to PSA. I've had all of these kind of collecting dust besides that Tua. Tua and the three case hits. But I've had a lot of these kind of just, I'm saving them. Wanting to send them back in, but you know, I said recently, sport cards are going to PSA. Unless it's like a low numbered card or a big, big, big time auto. So we had to wait a little bit. The next three cards are interesting. This is something that I'm trying to think ahead, right? I have seen that PSA is roughly a month to get back. So at the time of this recording, we're in May. So that means June and filed up June is the 4th of July. And here in the States, we do celebrate it. So I wanted to give a couple of these national pride cards out here for the 4th. 4th of July weekend is going to be card shows all over the place. So LaMelo Ball, the pink camo rookie card. National Pride. I love this card. I always tease my Mac Jones. I always try to send in one LaMelo ball. Uh, one, speaking of one that I try to do, one Anthony Edwards a video. So National Pride Anthony Edwards. You guys know who the other guy I also send in. He's our boy Maxi coming up in a little bit. But my last National Pride that I absolutely love is the color match LeBron James. The Yellow Reactive National Pride. It, it, I just think it's stunning. Now, these are really, really difficult to gray with the naked eye for centering. Uh, there's no border on it. So, those could get nines. It could be worse than a nine. I have no idea. So, the next one up is our boy Tyrese Maxi. A different kind, though. You see the V there. You see the V, a variation form of our boy Tyrese Maxi base and it's that disco. Actually they have what's the proper terminology? Proper terminology is mosaic Tyrese Maxi fast break silver. We like to call it disco sometime, but it's technically fast break. So we will take it. I always send one maxi card in. Always send one. Now the next couple cards are individuals including Maxi technically technically that are currently in the NBA playoffs and have an opportunity to be in the finals in a month, right? Maxi, obviously one of them. The next guy, this will be unfortunately a low grade. I know it already, unfortunately. Our boy, Jason Tatum, rated rookie. I know it's a little bit beat up on the corners here, so uh, I would love to get at least an eight, at least an eight. I would love to get a Jason Tatum rookie card. It's one of those things, though, personally, I don't really care what the grade is. I want it slabbed up because Tatum is a superstar, and he's going to be one for a very, very long time. And I don't like the Celtics. I do not like the Celtics. We're all about positivity here, but I don't like the Celtics. But I definitely want Jason Tatum card sleeved up for sure. So there we go. Hopeful for an 8+. plus. That would be great. The next two cards are... Whew, if you're a basketball fan, just like basketball. You know, John ja Morant is insane. I have about 10 plus of these. This is going to be another one of those, just like Maxi, just like Lamel, just like Mac Jones. Every video, I've sent one in, send one in, send one in. The dunk. The dunk. I love this card. And believe it or not, I actually prefer this NBA Hoops card over his Prism card. Now, hold up. Sorry, sorry, everyone starts freaking out there. Prism is top tier, but, but the imagery of each card does matter. This card is worth a decent amount because it's the dunk. Yes, it's luminous, but it is the actual photo. And I love this because that's Ja Morant. I think of Ja, I think of him dunking all over people. 
that's what I want to do. I want to send them both these cards in and just get them slabbed for either the PC. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, to be completely honest with you. I have no idea. Another hot team, the Golden State Warriors. And we got the guy, Jordan Pohl. Excited to see him. That three-headed monster they have over there is just insane. And he is aggressive. And I love that about him. So we got his prism. Um, I would probably say a 9. I don't know if that's going to get a 10 here or not. Um, did not pull this. This was from the PC. Uh, I did pull this card, though. Jeffin Kaminga, another GSW player. This is actually their current rookie. And the reason why I'm sending him in now, he's he might be a guy I could see like a maxi. Golden State just, their culture, they breed. They just breed talent. So if you can get ahead of the curve here, I think that's, for me, it's what I'm doing. So there's the 20 score cards that I'm sending to PSA. Literally tomorrow morning. I'm sending them in Monday morning, bright and early. Now we got 20 Pokemon cards. This is going to be fun. Before we do that, go, though, guys, how are you? How is everyone? Hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when the videos go live here. And hit that thumbs up button if you like the content, guys. I appreciate it. We do NBA, NFL, and Pokemon reviews here. Occasionally, we do what you're seeing here. A little bit of a review. A little bit of a chill atmosphere. Taking a break from ripping everything, but always having a good time. Guys, check out our TikTok, our Instagram. We're going to have a lot of new stuff coming to J Ruth Gaming in the near future. You don't want to know all about it. Those are two platforms we can get more information here. All right, guys, Beckett is Pokemon for me. Once again, it could be PSA for you guys, but for me, it is Pokemon equals Beckett. I love the subgrades. This is my preference. It's all about preference though, whatever you guys go for. You guys seen in the thumbnail and in the intro, Charizard V, this is from Brilliant Stars. The most recent set out. I wanted one of them. I love the artwork. Um, yes, the value probably is probably the. Looking at the cards, this is probably the cheapest card that I have here. Realistically, it is. It just is. We'll just say it is. Um, but I wanted a slab dust for the newest set. I just love the artwork. I just think it's so cool. I love the fire coming, the, like the fire throw, whatever you want to call it. The, it might be the heat blast attack, whatever it might be. I just love the card. Uh, once again, who do you collect, right? We'll check out the back there if you want to test out the grade. All these cards are just extremely clean. I don't see any of them getting really lower than a BGS 9. Um, I really, really don't. I'm hoping to get at least one of these a BGS 10. That is the goal. The next two cards are the same. We don't have one. We have two Charizards from Vivid Voltage. Once again, guys, it's a decent size value card. I think each of these are about a buck 20 each for PSA 10. We're going Beckett now, but it's just the artwork that I just, I absolutely love. They're not staff versions. These are ones that you were going to go, that you got from the promo packs from the built and battle boxes. I have two of them today. Um, I already got two before I even started J Ruth gaming. What was it November of the year before I started the channel? I sent a hundred cards to back to get graded. Two of those were these Charizards, which is pretty cool, and they both came back BGS's um, 9.5s, which is awesome. I did show, I did reveal that when they uh, when they did come back and did a whole hundred card reveal of all the Pokemon cards. That was so much fun, so much fun. We're only doing 20. I can't wait. So. Sticking with the Charizard theme, a lot of these first ones are Charizards. We got from Evolutions, the Reverse Holographic Charizard card. I do love it a lot. I wish it was the regular Holo, not the Reverse, but still the Reverse because it's Evolution. It's all about the artwork. And this image right there, the whole card essentially is, the only thing different is the stamp on the bottom saying it's from Evolutions. Everything else is basically the same from the original, which makes the Charizard from Evolutions pretty valuable. Also, from Celebrations 2, it's just the artwork. Yes, you have the little icon here, but still, what did I have these at for PSA 10? I have, I have the paperwork like all over. Don't mind me reaching all over here. Let's see, where was it? 
they were about were they about really a two fifty three hundred dollars each for a PSA ten. So like that's wild. You get a BGS uh, nine point five. That's equivalent to a PSA ten. Value would be a little bit less, but like you get that ten, you're talking some you're talking some moolah right there. Another Charizard, the V a match from Darkness Ablaze. Love this card. We went on some big boy hunts uh, last month for this card. Couldn't find it, but listen, we already had, I think we have two already at BGS 9.5. So we're looking to improve that. And I have a ton of packs from Darkness Ablaze. As you guys know, there was there's been a ton, ton of Darkness Blaze all over the retail world. So I always pick them up because you could get the Charizard. You could. Now, arguably the most expensive card from the lot is this next card. Arguably. Depending on the grade, and I think this card has the ability to score a very, very high. Charizard GX from Hidden Space here. Um, just insane. Just insane. I believe this we did hit on channel. And it was one of the first ever videos I did for Pokemon. Um, yeah, wild. Absolutely insane. The center looks so, so clean on it. I know there's a lot of individuals out there that might be saying, Why risk going to Beckett? Go to PSA, get the 10. I'm not about that. Always make it difficult on myself. I just love this card. I hope this card comes back a 10. That would be nuts. Our last Charizard for the evening, but not the last Pokemon. The other shiny Charizard, the Charizard V from Champion's Path here. Um, stunning card, also very difficult to pull. Um, it's good quality. Don't see really anything too, too wrong with it, centering-wise or anything else like that. Um, what I do love about Beckett with the subgrades, if I can get like a 10 centering, like for me, that's awesome. So I do hope we at least get 10s here. Um, this, these both, both the last two Charizards should score very, very well. Now these next couple cards coming up, um, these last remaining, oh, there's a what, half the sack here. They're, um, they're some from the PC from years ago. So this could be cool. Some we have pulled on channel. Now we just opened a bunch of Cosmic Eclipse and this was the Pikachu I was talking about, Red's Pikachu. I just love this card. We didn't hit it in the opening. This was from the PC. So this might score a, a below 9 because it is a little bit older. Um, I didn't get to like really study the grade. Once again, it's just a card I wanted slapped up. So, Beckett, good luck with it. Another PC card, the Shining Lugia. Oh, just check it out, the black promo. Such a cool card. Such a cool card. That's why I love doing the Pokemon videos here because I have so much in the PC. I started the channel only doing Pokemon back in the day back in the day i was doing strictly pokemon for the longest time sport cards i would buy singles who i liked i didn't rip boxes until really we started the channel so i had to teach myself what to do what to look for a lot of research went into the channel here but pokemon i had for years had for years so i have a I have, I, my the collection runs deep so i'm, I'm hoping back it brings down that 15 brings up the 15 dollar value again the amount of promo cards i want to send in it's kind of um, unreal this card as you guys noticed the red fire charizard binder to my left the brilliant stars we're on the hunt to complete the full set we do have a decent amount of the cards this is arguably one of my favorite cards from the set the galarian moltres v ah uh, the secret golden rare i absolutely love this card it's a duplicate I, I have a couple duplicates, big boy duplicates from the set. This was my favorite one, and I just want it in a slab. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Like, these are just my... I have to get a separate frame, put all these up on the wall. The Red Gyarados. Oh, man. I could just... Listen, guys. Pokemon is just... That's what I love about Pokemon. It's the artwork that brings you back to your childhood. Every game I tried to play, I always had, always had to get the red gyarados oh so sick once again probably just a pc card for me get it slabbed up with the beckett listen the reason why i go for beckett too growing up i used to watch leonhart open up stuff all the time and he would send all the stuff to beckett it's kind of part of 
part of the hobby for him, part of the growing up experience. So I have to do that. Another card that we pulled here, Umbreon VMAX Rainbow. I just, I love that. I love how thick they made the border of Umbreon. Boom. My favorite, arguably my favorite dark Pokemon out there. We pulled not one, but two of these on channel. I sent the best one I had to Beckett. I might send the other one too, one day in another bulk section. Couple more cards to go. We have, what we have? Uh, six, seven more, six more, seven more. I can't count. This card was, we've opened up first edition fossil packs here on the channel way back in July. Um, one of each artwork. Some were, I didn't know at the time, some were heavy. Some had hollows. We got a Gengar. First edition Gengar. I pulled this on channel. Absolutely insane. I always said I wanted to get it graded. And today is that day that we send to get it graded. I can't wait. It is super clean. I am hoping for the best for this card. That that would be absolutely insane. Now, just like Maxi, just like some of my sport guys, I try to send one certain Pokemon in every BGS submission. And that's the first edition Pikachu from Jungle. That's right. I have like 50 of these. It's insane. <laughs> like, I really do. It's nuts. So I just was buying these all over the place. This is like just the staple. Oh, Pikachu, look at him. Look at him. He's just the staple. Just the staple. So, Pikachu first edition from Jungle. PC card for sure. Fusion Strike, we were hunting Muse like crazy. This is the best one I've gotten from the rainbow. I just love the rainbow rares Pokemon. And Mew, you gotta love Mew. If you're an OG Pokemon collector like I am, Mew's new artwork is absolutely stunning. Fusion Strike was a blast to try to capture all six of the Mews. There it is. Speaking of Mew, Celebrations has it own as well. I just can't wait to get these slabbed up. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for those tens. Would be absolutely insane. Speaking of the golden rares, we got Snorlax. Guys, I had all of these on channel. No, I think the only one I bought, so I, I was buying a lot of first edition Pikachus for a while there, for the Logan Paul boom. Like I was buying a lot, like I said, I probably have 40, 50 of them. I hit everyone else on channel. It's absolutely insane. You guys have to hang out when we open these Pokemon videos. It's such a blast. Snorlax, Golden Seeker Rare, awesome card for sure. Hoping for the best. And the last and final card, the one that I lost my voice over for literally over a week, the Umbreon VMAX Alternative Art from Evolving Skies. Guys, this card PSA 10, I think recently is selling for over $800. This is a big time card, but we're sending it to Beckett to do better than a PSA 10. We want a BGS 10. We want a BGS black label 10. Can we break the odds with one of these cards? Guys, there you have it. We have the 20 Pokemon cards going to Beckett. We have the 20 sport cards going to PSA literally tomorrow morning. Bookmark it, they're going out. Whatever one comes back first. I, what I will do, I will reveal both at the same time. But I will make notes on which dates they came, whatever came back first came back. I know PSA is about a month. I know that, so I've already gotten them back. Beckett is the question. I should say this pile. Beckett is the question. Will they also be a month for their standard services? Guys, either way, I hope you had a fun time with us. We had a fun weekend overall. Open up a ton of stuff. We might have some new content. Hint, hint, some new content coming up next week. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button once again. And be part of the crew here at J Ruth Gaming. Guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you this week.